lost in my thoughts, wondering why I have been blessed with many things and others have not. Did you think, subhanAllah, like I can walk to my bathroom, turn the tap on and make wudu, alhamdulillah. And lots of people in our ummah can't even do that. Am I special? No, I'm not. This is a test from Almighty Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The privileged are tested, the underprivileged are tested. We are all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything we have and don't have is a test. This life is a test. What will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to me on the day of Yawm al Qiyamah? Will I even be worthy? Will I even be worthy enough to be seen by the King of all kings, the master of the day of judgment? I get scared. I get scared, but it's never too late to make a change, a difference, even in a small way, like making du'a for the less fortunate, educating ourselves to make a change, giving charity, or simply just helping people and being kind. We have amazing examples of great people in our Islam, amazing role models, and this is one such story that touched me deep within my heart. Ibn al-Qayyim and other Muslim scholars have mentioned that Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu every morning used to go to the outskirts of Medina to attend. One day, Umar radiallahu anhu began to wonder, where does Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu go every morning? So one morning, Umar radiallahu anhu followed Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and saw Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu enter a tent. So Umar radiallahu anhu waited and after some time, Abu Bakr radiallahu left the tent and the area. So Umar radiallahu entered the same tent that Abu Bakr radiallahu was in, and he saw a woman sitting on the floor. And he asked, "Who are you?" The woman replied, "Son, I'm blind, poor, and a destitute woman. My husband died some time ago, and I don't have anyone to help me after Allah subhanahu wa taala." So Umar anhu asked, who was that man who was in the tent? Do you know him? What does he do? The woman replied, I don't know who he is. All I know is that he comes every morning, he sweeps my floor, cooks my food, and milks my cattle. So Umar anhu sat down and cried. <laughs> my brothers and sisters, this Amazing man Abu Bakr anhu used to do this act of kindness. When he was a Khalif, when he was a leader of the Muslims, when people would have given him everything, but he said, I want to please Allah and I want to earn good from Allah. He was a humanitarian. Allahu Akbar. This is an example for me first. This is an example for me first. Subhanallah.